Add a few more lights here. And I think I might, depending on how things go, just jump ahead to after I finished putting up the other wall and kind of show you guys how I was working the ceiling. You might notice I have these in my hand. They come into play, so... I think I will just go ahead and jump ahead now. Ooh, look at that. There's a spider island over there. Those beady red eyes. Ooh, creepy. Ooh. This is going to look beautiful when it's done, guys. I mean, look at that. Very nice. Okay, guys. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this, but I will try and brighten it up as much as I, as much as I can for you um, when I'm editing. But there we go. We have got the two walls completed, and so now all that remains is to attempt not to drown while we put more dirt in our bar and not move our sword around. There we go. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and drop a jack o' lantern here, and drop a jack o' lantern here. I actually made up a second one from one of the spare pumpkins I had at the house. I figured they're just sitting there doing nothing, and this is a wonderful light source underwater that isn't uh, glowstone. Because when you break down a jack-o'-lantern, you get the jack-o'-lantern back. You don't get possibly enough pieces to put it back together again. Which is my the only reason I haven't actually busted the glowstone out for down here yet. Anyway... You just kind of put the roof on like this and try to mess up as infrequently as possible. Um, one thing I really like about this method is you're not reliant on ladders or reed or any sort of underwater breathing apparatus tricks. That because you're just going down, taking care of the one thing at a time, and then just pop up back for air, you don't have to fight with all the funky currents that ends up creating, and that is a wonderful thing. Now, let's see, is that a wall? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, drowning. There we go. So let's see. Um, actually, I think what I want to do, if I can, no. Nope. What I want to do is actually leave the hole here. I don't have to go swimming all the way back this way. So then what we do is we wait the 20 minutes it takes or so to bust down a pumpkin underwater. Yes, there is. Oh, you son of a... You get back here. There it is. I could barely see it contrasting against the pitch black of the ocean floor. All right, then. So... Don't break down the pumpkin that way, that's a bad idea. Make sure you have a nice bit of room around it, so when it goes flying the wrong direction... <sighs> okay, got them both. And I'm drowning again. Okay, so... Hop back in. And... Bam! Back inside. And that is probably... Like I said, hundreds of times easier and less of a headache than doing it the other way, doing it the way I was doing before. And since I'm running low on dirt, I may not actually be able to finish all the way over there with all the dirt I have with me. But I'm going to try. Um, if I don't, we're going to have to start tearing some of this down and replacing it with the glass and smooth stone back where it hits the land. But for now, let me go ahead and show you how I've been working this. Again, I'm going to try and brighten things as much as I can so you guys can get a good idea. And currently I can't see crap, I'm just blindly placing blocks, hoping it lands where I want it to. Ooh, 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 nope, nope. And it doesn't always work, but you kind of work like this from the top down. That way, let's see. Get over there. There we go. Now we don't end up with all sorts of massive headache trying to clean all this stuff up. And let's see. Yeah. Don't want to do it that way. 
Now I know this seems like I'm wasting my time putting that back up, but this is what I found worked out really well. And uh, like I said, I wanted to share this with you guys. So we get to work plugging this all up. And if we come up top now, we did this, well, we did it almost right. Um, oh, <laughs> silly me. That was still a source block. That's why it was acting weird. Anyway. The, why is there a hole here? Oh. That's why. I forgot to plug it on the way down. I'm so I was so used to always doing that myself before. Silly me. Alright, so. See, we've got this nice little almost stair-step looking thing. Now, when we remove this, we just got some still water here. No currents, no headache. Fill that piece in, and now that that's there, feel free to pull these blocks out. And in the future, because I believe this originally I built up as a solid wall from the top of the tunnel to the ocean floor. But actually, let me go ahead and show you guys. There's that. Okay. Get some light in here, too. That's much better. Alright. Now, when you get like this, you still want to be able to block this off. And this will probably take a little practice, being able to hit the block behind this one. But if you can do that, again, this makes life so, so much easier. So now you see, there's no floor here, and if we jump down, well, it's, it's a bit of a drop, and that would be just another massive headache to deal with. So instead, now that we've got it like this, we just come through, and like that. Ta-da! Very easy tunnel, very quick, too, and it just eliminates the headaches. And I just, I love this now that I've stumbled across it. And so as you're moving along, the only thing you really got to remember to do is, I know we just placed this, but just in case something decides to spill out, like so, keep control of your water. And just puts you in a whole better mood all day. So let's see, I think, there we go. I think from here, we might go ahead and cue a bit of music.
Okay, guys. Well, we are definitely making progress. We're, I believe, less than 100 blocks away. But I think now that we've hit water again, I'm going to have to work the tunnel one more time. But I've already been recording for probably over two hours in this set, so I'm going to call it a day for now. And so that means end of the episode, unfortunately. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope you guys like the new tactic, or the, the new technique I found for tunneling through water. I think it actually almost feels faster than even tunneling through earth, dirt, and stone. Except maybe with a diamond pick. I think that would probably be the only exception. But yes, we are within sight. We can literally see it. That spider is being weird. <laughs> I just find it funny to see him there just like... Beardoom, beardoom, beardoom. Just a spider going for a swim. Beardoom, beardoom. Anyway, um, as I was saying, I believe this is the end of this episode. So I wanted to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you for commenting, subscribing, and yes, even leaving thumbs up and liking the video. Because uh, as I've said, that was never really important to me before, but listening to everyone harp on about it and all the other people I'm subscri subscribed to, I don't know, maybe there's something to it. So if you guys feel like it, by all means, go for it. Uh, this has been Nocturne. Uh, I will see you guys again in the next episode.